Okay, welcome to another Simple Engineering Snippet. In this instructional video, we'll be performing some uh, pump calculations to determine the pump head and the pressurized. And in the process, uh, we will discuss why uh, pump manufacturers choose to present their pump curves, performance curves, in terms of pressure head instead of pressurized. I hope you find it useful. Okay, so we're given a, a pump flow rate, brake horsepower, hydraulic efficiency, and the fluid density. And we are going to determine the pump head and also the pressurized across the pump. We're going to be doing this for water with a specific gravity equal to 1. And again, repeating the calculations uh, for gasoline with a specific gravity equal to 0 0.68. Okay, so uh, one of the things that were provided is the uh, brake horsepower. Here is the equation for brake horsepower. In the numerator, this is the amount of energy or power that is actually uh, provided to the fluid and the pump is not perfect and so we divide through by the efficiency to obtain the brake horsepower. The brake horsepower is the uh, power going to the uh, shaft of the pump and that power is provided by uh, typically a motor, maybe a turbine. So let's uh, do a sanity check on this, look at dimensions. Uh, pump head is energy per weight, uh, volume flow weight is uh, volume per time, and density is mass per volume. And if we take the product of density times uh, gravity, we get weight per volume. So we see in the numerator, uh, we do turn uh, dimensions of power. And the uh, hydraulic efficiency is uh, unitless and dimensionless. Okay, so let's uh, solve this equation for the uh, pump head. And uh, we're going to be working in uh, British Gravitational, which is an English system, and SI. And so we provided the uh, flow, the densities, and the brake horsepower. And the again, the uh, hydraulic deficiency does not depend on the system of units. It's 0 0.71 uh, for both systems. Okay, so let's uh, go ahead and uh, work with the English or British gravitational system of units. And so we plug in our parameters with units. And as you can see, as is typical, we have a lot of conversion factors we have to go through, uh, including a 1 over G sub C to get the units to work out. Uh, but it is doable. And when we're done, we get that the head of the pump is 112 feet. And now let's work in SI. And again, plugging in the uh, parameters and, uh, and units. It's a little bit cleaner. I chose to expand uh, the definition of a Newton. Uh, typically, you don't have to do that. And we get that the head of the pump is uh, 34.2 meters. Okay, so that's the uh, pump head in both systems units. Now let's work on finding the pressure rise across the pump. And again, let's look at the uh, definition of, uh, or the, the dimensions of our terms. And uh, head is energy per weight, pressure is energy per volume. So to, tie, to obtain uh, the pressure rise, I just take the pump head, multiply it by the weight density, also sometimes called the specific weight. All right, so let's do that for both systems of units. And we'll be doing it with the English engineer or British gravitational on the left and the SI on the right. As you can see, if the SI is as is typical, pretty straightforward. Still got some work to do, some unit conversions, G sub C. And when we're done, we get the pressure rise is equal to uh, roughly 49 psi and 336 kilopascals. Okay, so that, all that was done for a specific gravity of one. And now let's uh, repeat that for specific gravity of 0 0.68 for gasoline. Okay, but before we do that, dive into it. Let's review what we mean by pump head. It's energy per weight. And pump head really depends upon flow rate, impeller size, and speed. Now, this is true as long as the viscosity is not a major player, which is typical for most, uh, most fluids. Okay, so when that is true then the pump head remains the same. So we had the same pump operating at the same speed. We're going to be analyzing for the same flow. And so the pump heads remain the same. Now this is uh, sometimes uh, not intuitive. So let's take a look at the, graphically what we mean. So on the left side, we have specific gravity is equal to one. Uh, we have the uh, pump heads and we don't know what the pressure is. We're going to calculate that. And for specific gravity is equal to 0 0.68, the gasoline, Again, the pump head is going to be the same. I should go ahead and point out that to keep things simple, I've specified uh, zero PSI or zero kilopascals at the pump suction. Uh, clearly, that could be a cavitation issue, but uh, we're not going into that in this video. 
Okay, so let's solve for the delta P, what the procedure is as before. Uh, however, we've already done this once, and we know the uh, specific gravity and the definition of specific gravity, so really we can just scale uh, the answer that we obtain with specific gravity equal to 1, and then just multiply it by the specific gravity to obtain the answer. So let's do that, and we obtain that the uh, pressure rise across the pump in English is a 33 PSI, and for SI, uh, 228 kilopascals. So again, I want to reiterate uh, is that the head remains the same uh, when we change the specific gravity, but it is the discharge pressure or the pressure rise across the pump that is actually going to change. This is why pump manufacturers will specify their performance curves in terms of head. Typically, it's in head energy per weight. It could be energy per mass with uh, dimensions of feet squared per second squared. Typically, it's energy per weight in, in units of uh, feet or meters. And if you were going to be uh, pumping a fluid, uh, such as a really heavy crude, where now viscosity is uh, not nearly the same as the test conditions, uh, this would not be true. But then again, the entire pump curves uh, would not be true. So it would not be putting out the same head, but the entire pump curves would need to be uh, retested. So keep that in mind is that the pump head remains the same for the same flow and the same pump at the same speed. All right, so uh, we could also solve for the brake horsepower. And again, we see that it depends on the density. So once again, we'll be able to scale using the specific gravity. And so repeating that's a simple matter, multiplying through by 0.68. And we get that the brake horsepowers are, uh, well, 32% less than they were before. Uh, kind of makes sense, even though it's the same flow. Uh, and the pump is putting out the same energy per weight, the, the fluid weighs less, and so it's going to take less power. All right, well, I hope you found this uh, instructional video useful. Uh, if so, uh, please like and subscribe, and most importantly, have a great day.